Hey everyone, welcome to another Tuesday Thunder video. Um, this week we're going to be in the Cupra Leone E-Racer at Portimao. Meow. Um, look, I really don't know how to pronounce that properly. Portimao, I think it is, but we all say meow. Okay, that's enough. Um, yeah, these cars, look, the sound is just wrong being electric. You know, it should have an internal combustion engine powered by decomposed dinosaurs, to be honest. But it is what it is. And, um, yeah, we'll take a look at the leaderboard now. Um, I did set... I did about six laps in practice and went, yeah, this is good. And then I thought I hit start recording on my video and didn't. So this is take two. And I got within three tenths of Dan... And I went, that's enough, because it, it was going to be about a 30-minute video. So, um, so as you can see, it, uh, Dan and Damo is up there. I'm in front of a few other people. There's a DD Finney and a DJ Finney on the leaderboard there. So the Finneys have come to play. And, um, yeah, we'll see how what we can do. Now, with the setup of this car... It's pretty basic, just got it down to 84% brake pressure and 58 bias. Now we'll show you some things around here. These cars have an S mode and a D mode. So D is drive, which gives it full battery power and S is regen mode, which these things have like a, um, a electric generator in the back wheel. So when you put it in S mode, it applies more brake to the back, which you need, because if you leave it in D, you'll be locking brakes galore and in S mode, it, it really helps the braking. So <coughs> instead of gears like normal, you've just got the S and the D mode. So when you go to brake in S mode, when you're on the power in D mode, pretty straightforward. So I can't really tell you what to do apart from where to brake and um, everything like that and just what mode to be in. So we'll get out on track. So it starts you off in S mode, flick it into D, coming out of that, uh, the second to last corner, penultimate, though some would call it. Try and grab a bit of curb on the inside there, full whack power. They do have a bit of torque understeer, so you've got to watch that as well. So you come hooking down the straight here. And just before you hit the brakes, which is 130, into S mode, then back into D for this corner here, then back into S mode. Just sort of adds a new element when you come out of that into D. There's a bit of a lift. At the 100 meter board down here, you want to be clicking S mode, then brake, turn in. Back into D mode, coming out of here. Now you always got to have a little courtesy brake here, so I'll go into S mode. Save locking the rears, and I'll just leave it in S mode till there. Till you come off the brakes, and click it into D. Leave it in D all the way up through here. Now on the 50 meter board over there to the left, you want to be going down to S mode, hitting the brakes, click it into D when you come out of there, try not to run too wide, a little lift through here, back into S mode, on the skids, now there's no brake marker there, back into D mode, back into S mode, and back into D again, alright, so we'll do a flying lap now. See if I can beat this time because I'll look shocking if I don't beat it now. One of them anyway, or this time at least. So we're in D all the way up here. Your lap time was 147.5. Click it in S mode. That's wide. It's going to be a cut. Track limits, they'll invalidate this lap. Back to S. 
Back in the day. Need to get the picture here after a few laps. And do you all the way. Oh, that sounded a bit wrong. S mode. So yeah, you just gotta be careful getting on the power too early. And the S. coming out of here takes a little bit to get used to but once you get used to it it is pretty easy but instead of changing gears 4,000 times a lap you're only changing it to brake and accelerate really See how it won't break with the mode there. It was just sliding on me because the rears weren't really working. You're locking your right front going into turn 12. So I was relying all on front. It's wide, but that'd be right. Yeah, it was just relying on the front brakes then. So you just got to watch out. You don't be doing that in a race and under steering into some or brake locking into somebody. Sausage and that's kicked me out, bastard. Okay, John, we need to watch these track limits. Yes, I know, Mr. Chief. Wasn't a big cut. Yeah, it's really sluggish in the S mode coming out of corners. Try not to cut too much there that's you can just get away with that maybe a tiny bit more but anything of like that you'll get a cut on the inside of that last corner Sound is annoying. Sector one is quick. Oh, you're joking. Track limits, this lap will be deleted. There's a big green area out there to run onto and right. So that's not a cut by cutting that inside corner. Oh, 
How come this lap won't count? Might have been a cut. Alright. Well, I haven't got a battle of bloody lap in yet. I might get one. I might get a valid lap in. Might could be the operable word here too. Sector one time is good. Sector 2 is a tenth off your best. It's a bit slow under there. It's only basically a tenth off my time there, but we're going to try and beat the it. The lap time was at 1.45.1. <laughs> Sector 3 times OK. Sector 1 is 0.1 off your best. Worst thing with Crew Chief, when he talks over the top of the, you can't hear the engine. That makes sense. off your best in sector two. Tenth on it. Sector 
Your lap time was 144.8. Sector 3 time is quick. Oh. Bloody hell. Look at that. Not too bad. Sector one is zero tenths off your best. Oh, the back end was stepping out there on me. Two is zero tenths, slower than your best. I knew that was okay. Jump you need to watch oh. the track limits. Oh. Only two tenths off Dan, I just need to make it and I lost it in that first sec sector of the last lap. They probably can break a bit later than the 130. To be honest. At the first corner. Yeah. Sector 1 is 0 0.1 off your best. The great first corner, but I just butchered the, the next one up. Oh! And round we go. Okay, so unlike the NSU, because I already put this in the gravel trap in practice, you can actually get out. going to be a little bit wiggly but probably not too bad and saying that I'll probably end up spinning it up here Locking because your of the into turn seven. and it clears the dirt pretty quickly so there we go don't go hitting the old the blue sausage couple more. See if we go, see if I can rip into this, get in a top spot. Not doing that, I won't. All that. <coughs> Cuts are Perhaps very savage. <laughs> this car does have traction control too, so... I don't believe you want to be... You're locking your left front into two of it. ...putting the traction control any higher. Probably a wheel spin a bit more. I 
Sun's not too bad yet. We'll see. Maybe it might have a bit better poke out of the corners, but we'll try not doing cut tracks. We should be right. Another cut. You're kidding. Okay, John, you need to watch the track limits. There, so it should be an interesting race this one. See who can hit S and D at the right time and, and that'll Come on, little electric motor. Of course, that's a cut. Bloody hell. This lap will be invalidated. Watch the track limits. It's like nearly every other one, crew chief. Right, I think this one might do me. Sliding on the brake there. Just didn't want to pull up on me. Time is quick. I think I was better on traction control one. I 
I do pop one more. I've got to, got to try and beat it. Well, that was at 145.3. You're two tenths off your best in sector three. Going into two of it. I'm locking everything. Sector two is two tenths off your best. Pushing too hard now. I'll we'll try and I'm on. You've just done a one forty five point four. Sector three is not point four of your best. Three turns up on the first corner and then the light lock up. Sector one is quick. Let's run it out. And so is that. There we go again. Okay, John, we need to watch these track limits. For real, this next one's going to be my last one. <laughs> I've beaten my time there that I said earlier, which I thought was pretty good, and I, I know that'll do, but like I said, the old start recording button didn't depress. Really don't know what to think of this car. Seeing right front locking into turn 12. I don't know if I like it. It's a bit on the fence. A bit like ordering a stripper and she turns up and she's your the doppelganger of your wife. Might as well just got your wife to strip. No, that's out. Oh, yeah. No, that's it. That'll do. Come on, keep it between the lines. They'll so, take this lap. Yeah. Sort of a bit disappointing, but it's certainly speedy. It should make for a great race, but not impressed with the sound of it and having to do that S and D thing. You think it'd be automatic regen or something like that when you hit the brakes instead of having to switch modes? It should do it automatically. Um, I know my little golf that I've got out there does it regens when under braking um, on the back wheel, even though it's full petrol, it does that to charge the battery. So, yeah. All right. I hope this um, video helps, and we'll, we'll see you all next week. Bye.